Hey you guys. So we're going to keep adding to the artichoke story as I learned this process in Central Florida. So over here, this is my artichoke and it had been really tight up until today and it looks like it wants to spread and make a flower. So even though I really was trying to wait till it got really high and here's the second bud and here's the third bud, but I'm afraid if I'm waiting for other buds that the heat is going to, we're up to like 97 degrees today and there's no telling what else with heat index on top of it. So I am going to, um, they say on YouTube is, which is a great teacher, um, to pick it with a few extra, um, by the way, your chickens can eat the leaves. They like the leaves. Uh, so give about a six inch stalk if possible. Or, uh, come on. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I got one piece stuck. So hard to do one handed. Okay, there we go. So there it is. We've got it before it begins opening up into a flower. And uh, so if you peel the skin and cook it along with the rest of the artichoke and the heart in there, that the skin tastes just like the heart, not skin, excuse me, the inner parts of the stalk taste just like the inner heart of an artichoke. So that's pretty cool. And then I was just showing off the garden a minute ago and I said, you know what? There's definitely something black in there. So I don't, I think we have number two is coming. I can't see anything but black and I'm a scaredy cat about touching it. <laughs> but I think this is not the leaf. I think this is my next artichoke coming. Well, it would be number four. This one shows nothing yet. I can't wait till we like really see this garden with a lot of water on it all next week and see how things are really going to pop for it. But yeah, there we go. We have our first Florida grown, homegrown artichoke in zone 10A. I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. I am so stoked to eat this and try it.